hey gorgeous welcome back and welcome to i don't know what to call it a different kind of vlog a pole pole vlog i don't know but um I noticed that when I did the q and A, I I got a lot of questions about polls. So here we are. It is a Tuesday morning. Um, it's about 10 to 11. I'm probably going to leave in the next like 15 minutes or so. I have a poll session at 2, but I'm going to go to the gym first because there's a gym that I used to go to that's near my poll studio and they have, I really like their lower body equipment. So I normally go there beforehand and train like legs, glutes before um, I head to my, my pole lesson, but... I've been a member of this gym because it's like a chain gym. I've been a member of this gym for like since September 2020 and I realized that they have been um, charging me incorrectly. So I am going to go in today and, and get that sorted out properly because I want my money back. But I am about to go on my little like juice blender thing, have my smoothie. So for this one, I have water. I'm using the Naked Harvest protein. I have some of the vegan protein coconut yogurt, but a little bit of frozen banana, a bit of frozen passion fruit, and I always add like a tiny bit of spinach as well because it's good for you and you can't even taste it. So I'm going to blend that all up. Okay, let's drive to the gym. So I think, yeah, they owe me about a hundred. When I called and and I was like, hey, um, you guys have been, I realized that you guys have been charging me wrong. They were like, oh, okay. Like we don't know how that has happened. Like, but we can see like what's been going on. We can give you like two weeks free. And I pay like $46 a fortnight. That really doesn't cover it. So yeah, I was like, I'm going to come down next week and I'm going to talk to you about it because I'm not accepting that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to drive uh, almost 40 minutes to my old gym. Yeah. Hope it all goes well. Okay, so I just got to the gym and then I remembered that it's Anzac Day. And I don't know if they're going to be staffed. So I'm hoping I can talk to someone about this. Otherwise, I'll just have to call them up again and be like, listen, mate, that's not okay. So, <clears throat> yeah, I am going to go to the gym, maybe dispute my... Um, <laughs> The money that I'm owed, maybe dispute the everything that's happened. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, hit some legs, and then um, get a pole. I'm so excited. Okay, my car does not have lights. The lights, can I? Yeah. The lights in inside my car, are like, don't turn on. My car is very like. I'm on a budget this year, so we are we are being a little low-key this year. I'm saving up for a few things, and um, my boyfriend and I are going to go to Greece in October. So nothing fancy at the moment, but I've got a car to drive me around. I'm not ashamed. I literally don't care. I really like my car. It might look a, like it looks a bit like <laughs> it looks a bit shit, but it like it does the trick. So <sighs> okay, so I did gym. There was no one there like at the counter when um, when I walked in. I'm just going to start eating now because I'm starving. Normally if I go to the gym and then I have an appointment after, I'll go to like Nando's because they have um, this thing called Vegan Grape Pretender and I normally get like a wrap with like an extra patty for like the protein because like with the two patties, it's like fairly high protein. Like I said, I'm on a budget this year, so I've been like pre-making my food lately and um, this is literally just... No, it doesn't look very... <laughs> it it kind of looks ratchet. But it's pretty much like you get these, um, like you get this like vegan chicken. It's called M, I think it's called M E E T from Woolies. It's like literally four dollars fifty for like um a packet, like a can, like a little container thing, and it's like twenty four grams of protein per serve, and there's two serves. So I just put the whole um like the whole packet in, and then I j I just kind of get like whatever veggies are on special. Yeah, so when I was at Woolies, they had um like discounted cauliflower rice, and um zucchinis are always like fairly budget friendly so I have zucchini rice and cauliflower rice and zucchini and I normally either do like um you can get these really good sauces from Woolworths it's like um I got this like barbecue sauce it's like all organic so like organic um sugar and everything and like vegan like bar like it's barbecue it was really nice I tried that yesterday and I've like already gone through like most of the bottle because I was like putting it on everything and obviously like for this but they also have um, buffalo sauce, and I love buffalo sauce. And um, when I was looking for like sauces to put in this, 
I was like, oh, I'm going to look at the buffalo sauce and like, I bet it's going to have like all this sugar and like crap in it and I'm not going to be able to eat it. And then I looked at the, um, it's like vegan and it's like refined sugar free and it, like the ingredients list is pretty good. So normally I'll do, um, I'll normally do that or this, like I've started doing this barbecue sauce. Because I normally go, like, I normally get, like, meal delivery with Solara, which is a vegan meal delivery service. But I don't really like their, um, like, their high-protein options at the moment. And doing it this way is a little bit cheaper, so I'm kind of like, okay, whatever. I'm trying to build more, like, muscle mass on a budget. <laughs> anyway, it is raining now. But I got to the gym, there was no one at the desk. I was like, okay, I'll just have to call up tomorrow or something. I get to the um, change room and I realize that my water has leaked all through my bag. Like my like pole outfit, like my, like the clothes I was supposed to change into, like this was dry. I have to wear the like bike shorts that I wore, wore here again because like the shorts that I like packed wet like all like down the front. Like it looks like I'm like pissed myself. A towel I was gonna dry myself with after the shower. Luckily, not my camera. Luckily, not my, my portable charger. So I'm really grateful that they're fine, but pretty much everything was soaked. Naked Harvest, I love your protein powder, but you need to do better with your drink bottles because all of this was gone and it's not like, like I, I don't know how it happened. Really, like really annoyed, but I was like, okay, like it's not the end of the world. Not going to let it bother, bother me. It's fine. Like nothing really bad got damaged. It's just a little bit inconvenient. So I started working out. Everything's going gra fine. Great. And then I break a machine. I've never broken it, but it's like this machine that I absolutely, absolutely hate. Like I would rather do Bulgarian um, split squats than go on this machine. But I know it's like, it's good. Like there's a reason why it's horrible to do it because it's good. So I do it and it's like, it's like a kickback machine, but the, um, but not a normal one. The, there's like a pad under your, like, um, like at the back of your knee that you like push back. So you use like the back of your like thigh to like kick back instead of like, the like foot thing if that makes sense i've never seen this at a, i've been to a lot of gyms and i've never seen this at another gym um so i don't know why they have it but i was doing really well i was like okay i'm gonna like i've already hit a pb i was like i'm i'm definitely gonna hit a pb today with this machine and then um doing the kickback and then i hear this bang and it's like clicked out of place and it's like stuck i don't know how to explain it but i was like so but when I was on the way out of the gym, like suddenly the, the staff were there and they were like, oh yeah, we've only been like, we only got here at one. And they were like, oh, we've taken like three payments off your thing already. So you won't have payments like coming out for a little while. So that's good. And I think it adds up to a little bit more than what was taken out um, in the first place. So I'm happy with that, but still like annoying. I'm going to finish eating, train some pole and I'll see you soon. Okay, 
so it is still raining. I feel so rude. I didn't introduce you to my pole instructor. I'm so not used to like, it's been so long, probably about like a year since I've vlogged like something that's not like a strip of like vlog and in a strip of vlog like it's just me like I never film anyone else there's no need to like introduce anyone and now I just feel rude like <laughs> she was just like anyway that was good um been really wanting to do more upside down stuff it took me a long time to get like better at upside upside down um so I'm really happy with that really happy with um I can't remember I just really can't remember what it's called but it was the first one I did and then we went over some stuff that like I haven't practiced for a while and I kind of like lost the like confidence to do so that was really good really happy um we also did some moves because we're doing a pole photo shoot on the weekend which is kind of what inspired this vlog because i thought it would be cool to film that but i was like i don't want a bit more meat in the video so i thought i'd like take you to this as well so um i'll do my best to introduce you to erica when we do the shoot on sunday so yeah i am hungry i'm gonna drive home and i got to see my boyfriend today because it's fly-in day so I'm really excited. I'm gonna um, clean up the house a little bit, do the like a few things that I need to do, and then um, and then yeah, see see my man. So I'm gonna put the key in the ignition. Gonna drive home, and I will see you on Sunday for the shoot. Okay, so it is Sunday and I am all ready to go. I'm gonna do my lipstick when I get there because it's like quite a drive, and I want to be able to like drink water and stuff and not mess up my lipstick before the shoot. So. Gonna do my lipstick there, but otherwise I've got a little like outfit on under this and I'm excited. So the shoot is done. That was really cool. Oh yeah, the fireworks are still going. Okay, so the shoot is done. I have been warming up in the car because it was absolutely freezing there on the beach. We're gonna go get some dinner before we head home. I'm starving. So, made it home. I'm super excited to see how the photos turn out. I was a little bit nervous because I haven't really like, I haven't really done anything like that before. I've only really done like at the studio or in the club. I haven't ever really posed for like pole photos before. So that was, that was interesting. I kind of expected to get like really nervous and then like mess it up in front of everyone, but I, it was, it was fine. So <laughs> yeah, I'm super keen to see how the photos turned out. Obviously you'll see them on my Instagram at High Vibe Hustler, so once I get the edits back, I'll definitely be posting them there, so if you want to see how the photos turned out, definitely follow me on Instagram. Also, this was a different video to usual, so if you want to see more videos like this, please like this video so that I know that you're interested in this kind of video. I am trying to, like, mix it up a little bit. Make sure that you are subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos come out. All my other links are down below, TikTok, OnlyFans, Patreon if you want to see more and I just want to say thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and I hope you have a magical day